I know y'all finally saw the Rel C's ship system and y'all liking it because it is fire. But the Holy War X ship system is actually really good as well. There was actually some things that I did want to tell y'all that I couldn't that I'm actually allowed to say today. Some exclusive information that y'all don't know about yet. Appreciate that, Elfie. So make sure y'all watch the entire video. We're going to break down this video and then we're also going to talk about the extra stuff as we watch the video. So y'all have to make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel. Now here's a video that was just posted that we're going to be watching and I have not watched it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to uh, break it down. So let's get into it. Oh, this is the test server. Oh shoot, he showed the test server. Oh, okay, cool. We get in interior. Oh, well, first of all, let me just say the interior looks really clean. It's actually really detailed. Um, this game is definitely visually the best game coming out for sure. Interior is not just, they're not just ha adding an interior. It's detailed, bro. There is, it's like, there's things everywhere. It's lively. And of course, aside from maybe the textures, I like the interactions. For example, even when he opens the door, that looks clean. He just picked up a nine tail. He just picked up nine tail cloak Naruto, bro. Is that an outfit obtainable in the game or? Oh, that's Rao Sin. Oh, that's a uh, that's exclusive then. Pause. That right there is the lightning mode. Uh, that you guys better not be going. Uh, what's that in the back? I don't know. That's that's an NPC. This is a test server, by the way. So everything is just. I mean, ah, y'all y'all can see that. That over there in the back is a mount. Three people could ride on that. I think this is also a mount. That's pretty cool. Actually, there was quite amount of quite the amount of NPCs over there. He's about to go inside interior again. Another building over here. Let's see it. Okay, this is the same building. Oh, oh! I just realized he's using his. He has a fire ability. Wait, wait, wait! Let's break that down. So we have Inferno. Okay, finally. So here's the boat stuff that I want to talk about. The boat stuff is really good. First of all, let's just watch this real quick. Oh, and look at look at the uh, the health, and I, don't, I forgot what this is. Maybe the crew health or something. Like I don't know. But the GUI is really clean. Look at all the detail for the um. Okay, so here is the ship. I mean, obviously you can shoot cannons from the side. Pretty cool. It looks cool. You could aim from either side and just shoot. This is free cam over here. Now look at this in the front of the ship. That's not even like normal cannons. That is a different type of cannon that you can shoot from the front right there that he just shot right there, which is actually really dope. And then there is something else that you can do from the back. Yeah, there's still that you can do from the back. I want to see if he's about to show it. Oh, what's this? Oh wait, see, this is what it is. You can throw like barrels in the back, which is fire as heck. What, what was that that he just did? This right here, what's this? Interesting. It must just like that must be some type of cannon, bro. There's just so many different types of cannons for the ships. And I think he's he's switching between them down here, as you can see at the bottom. Okay, and another thing is that I wanted to tell y'all, like every game that we play on Roblox, when you like jump on a ship, you fly off. Obviously in Real Seas, y'all know that they're not doing that. They're you know making sure that that's not the case. You can fight and do all types of things on the ship. But Real Seas, uh Holy War X is doing that as well. And it's really clean, hot, like in the Holy War X, it looks so clean. And just look at this. Just look, look for yourself. Look how fast the boat was going and not even a glitch, not even a glitch. It's just smooth. You can move along with the ship. So ship battles, or even if you're not battling, if you're just moving across the ship, it's cool. Uh, the ships are really big and we're almost done. So there's actually, I want to break break it down because there's actually a lot more I could talk about with this so first of all this right here the ship that you're looking at is not even the biggest ship in the game there is a lot you could cut first of all you can customize your ships you can change the colors there's different variants that you can choose so this is one of the variations for this specific ships there's smaller ships obviously this is one of the bigger ships but this is not the biggest ship um, and there's a lot of things you could do for example see down in that area there's like a, a area down there that you could see you could prison people. You could capture people and put them down there. There's also going to be an interior that they're still working on down there. Uh, so you can just hang out or whatever. This is going to be like you could go down in the ship. Like it's bigger than what y'all see. But you could uh, prison people. And then, you know, you could take them to the prison. Like transport them to different islands and things like that. So it's pretty cool. You can capture them. But there's also a little feature in this. So when you... Um, you're going to get to another crew you could like attach a wire to another ship which would keep them locked to your ship 
So now y'all are forced to fight. <laughs> hey man, the ship combat is gonna go crazy. There's also NPCs on the ship. I don't know if you could see them in this video. Uh, oh, you can. He doesn't really show it, but in the back you can see some NPCs. Um, they start off looking when you get a ship. I think, okay, so what you do is you have to find these NPCs. You can find them across the sea. Maybe they're just stranded. So I don't know. You have to find them across the sea and you have to recruit them. Once you recruit them, they look mid. They look like starter NPCs. But as you upgrade them, upgrade your ship, you know, upgrade these NPCs on your ship, there's, they start to change. Their outfits start to look better. Like you could have your NPC crewmates start leveling up and start looking more like admirals or just overall better. They just start to look overall way better. And these NPCs will also fight. So if you guys are attacked, they will help you fight on your ship and all that stuff. They'll shoot cannons or if people attack you on their ships, uh, they'll, they'll just jump in. So traveling from island to island is going to be pretty fun because y'all could see how detailed the whole ship system is and how big the ships are, the things that you're gonna be able to do while moving across the sea. I mean, at least it's not gonna be buggy either. You're gonna be able to actually enjoy moving from island to island. The islands are already planned to be super far apart. So going from island to island is going to be like, you're going to have to be chilling on your ship and just vibing on doing whatever you have to do on your, on your way to islands. Now me personally, so far, I think the Holy War X ship system Aside from customization, because I still do think Rel Seas has a better customization, obviously it's detailed for no reason. But so far, the ships itself, the whole system, I still think it might be my favorite. It's that or, or Rel Seas, but right now I'm kind of liking how Holy War X is looking slightly more aside from the customization. And for customization, for this ship, for example, you could change the color and how it looks. There is a few different types as you can see on the screen. You could also see that the figurehead for each ship is different. And again, in the future, you guys will see the interior for the ships. That has not been shown. But yeah, that's about it. I know how y'all feel about the ship system and just everything. And yeah, is this your favorite ship system on Roblox so far? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.